Welcome back to the Tenorshare channel. Since last week, we know that the next major update is iOS 26, not iOS 19. And it's not just iOS. All the operate systems from Apple are all skipping ahead to 26. So what can we expect from iOS 26? Rumors suggest we'll see these on our plate. If you want to be among the first to try these features right after WWDC on June 9, here's everything you need to prepare for the iOS 26 beta. Once the WWDC keynote ends, the developer beta typically goes live within an hour. You'll need an iPhone XR or newer. That includes iPhone SA2, SE3, and all upcoming iPhone 16 models. If you're still using an XS or earlier, unfortunately, iOS 26 won't support those devices. Now this update is no small file. With Apple intelligence features included, the package may take up 7 to 9 GB. We recommend clearing at least 15 GB to ensure smooth installation. And always back up your phone first with iCloud or do a full backup in iTunes or Finder in case you need to downgrade your phone back to iOS 18. Now, let's talk about getting the update. The beta isn't here yet, but you can prepare in advance by joining the Apple Developer Program. Go to developer.apple.com and you'll see the iOS section currently labeled iOS 18. Once in it, Hit download, log in with your Apple ID, and your device will be enrolled for beta access. Just that simple. Then go to software update and check for beta updates and select the developer beta. You can reopen the settings to check again. If you can't see the beta option, betas often come with bugs. If this is your only or main device, consider waiting for the public beta in July instead. If you're running low on space, or just want a smoother way to install the beta, you can use a tool like Rei Boot. It lets you download and install beta firmware. That's it. If this video helped, don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.